Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of execution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drain pump in the Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips, a Torque 20, and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drain pump. The drain pump, mounted on the sump, drains water out of the dishwasher when it's energized by the control board. If the dishwasher doesn't drain water, the drain pump should be checked and replaced if needed. We can begin by taking the three torque 20 screws out at the bottom here. And uh, that's going to free the uh, door handle from the panel. I'm going to use a torque 20 screwdriver. And remove that screws. And right, now I can open the door and uh, take out the screws that holds the inner door to the outer door panel. We're going to take out the four screws on the top. This is a Torque 20 screwdriver. And remove it one by one. And now we're going to move to the side and uh, take out this uh, screws. The side screws are a little bit shorter than the screws from the top. And I'm going to close the door and uh, and slide down the outer panel with the touch pad here. So I'm going to pull up and remove this uh, touch, touch pad with the uh, control board and just let it hang down slowly. Make sure you don't uh, break anything and you like harness and we can remove this uh, outer door panel we're going to take out the uh, access panel there's a uh, two phillips screws one on each corner i'm going to use the uh, phillips screwdriver and we're going to take out the screws so we can remove the access panel it's a uh, self-removable decide to come off by itself and uh, next we're going to take this uh, frame support out. Uh, it's going to be torque 20 screwdriver. I have a couple of screws that holds that uh, frame support. And I use a flat blade screwdriver and carefully pry this off. Fold it in a second. And now we can remove the insulation. And now we have access to the pump. I'm going to remove the uh, harness from the clip, put it aside. And now I'm going to use a flat disc driver to press this locking tab in. And simultaneously, we're going to turn the motor clockwise to unscrew it. And now we can remove it. I'm going to turn the motor, expose this tab, and now I'm going to use a flat disc driver and press it down and disconnect the plug. This is the old drain pump next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. So as you can see that there, there's a water on the bottom. So before we're installing a, a, a new pump, we need to dry it out. Use anything you want, towel, sponge, paper towels, that's what I'm using. All right, so now it's time to put the uh, drain pump in. Uh, this two channels, lock over that two tabs here. I'm going to put some soap on it, liquid soap, on the gasket here. 
So it will go in easily. And then I'm gonna install the pump. Press it in hard so the, the seal will go in into the opening. And then we can turn it counterclockwise. And the tab on the top should lock. And next we're gonna plug the harness in. Push it in, it should lock. Install the harness under the clip on the top of the motor, on the drain pump motor. And uh, this one in. Okay, we're gonna put the uh, insulation back in. Uh, the bottom first. Now the schematic goes back in. And the frame support following that goes in this way. And first we're gonna put the top on. Press it in. And then we're gonna lift it up and install that uh, two bottom clips on. And secure it with the two torque 20 screws. And now we're gonna install the access panel. And now we're gonna put this uh, Phillips screw in. I'm gonna use a Phillips screwdriver. And the second one. Now we're gonna install the outer door panel. So we're gonna pick up the control panel. Be aware of the wiring to bring it up. And then on angle, like this, we have to go in. So this uh, plastic goes into the door. And then these tabs on the top will go inside the cutouts in the outer door panel. All right. To install the outer door panel, we need to lift it off and put the inside strip on the top of the hinges. And then uh, reach in and open the door. Support it on the sides. And uh, put your knee under. So I'm gonna put one screw to hold it uh, doors together. And a torque 20 screwdriver. Tighten it. And another one I guess would be better. We're gonna put the bottom one too. So we have this side secured, move to the opposite side. And the one more at the bottom. Please note that these three screws on each side are the short screws. The top one here and the four on the top are longer screws. That's uh, the last last short screw on this side and we're going to install the longer ones and the last short screw goes on this side and I can put the uh, first long screw and next uh, four top screws do not over tighten them, they are going into the plastic. So we're gonna close the door. So we're gonna install the three sharp ended screws from the bottom. We're gonna use the torque 20 screwdriver. And then the one there, then, right in there.
turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully, there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.